Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. We daily vlog. So if you like this so video, like come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Come on. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We're about to eat. Just I'm got home hungry. from acupuncture. This looks, yeah, how was it? It was good. You got it's your really B12 good. shot? Mm hmm. I was not. Oh. I'm going to go back the day before transfer and the day of transfer. Nice. So that is the plan. I did a health panel today. Wow. So that was fun. I got to be one of five panelists and got questioned about healthy habits at the workplace and whatnot. Wait. So, yeah. guy who sat next to me said he was vegan five years. This is before I said I was a vegan. He said he was vegan five years and no one's no one stays vegan. Oh gosh. And then it was my turn to talk and I was like, so Mr. Guy sitting next to me, uh, I'm vegan ten months and a runner and everyone was like, ooh. <laughs> So let's eat this food. It looks delicious. This recipe has been floating around Facebook, but with shrimp instead of chickpeas. So I just switched it up and used chickpeas. I definitely made too many chickpeas for how many zucchinis I had. Um, but I hope it's going to be good. And then with the remaining sauce, I put it over pasta. It's a lot of food. And another classic salad, plus red pepper flakes, minus the tomatoes. I realized yesterday when I said a classic salad, all I said was, lettuce, tomato, and onion, but I forgot about like the dressing seasonings. Basically, I put olive oil on top, I put red wine vinegar on top of that, and then salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano. And that is like my family's, every basically every party, there is that salad. And that's what I made again today, because I've been trying to make such fancy salads, and sometimes you just gotta go back to the basics. I was just making fun of the lighting in our kitchen, so Sarah's trying to be all humorous. But I'm doing something officially now that even though like we've, we've already surpassed the ACS fundraising goal, so thank you everybody, but we're still going to try to fundraise more because the little secret is I'm trying to get members of our family in Chicago to run the Chicago Marathon, and at this point they need to be on the charity too, so actually we might continue to push the fundraiser because like, say Jenna or Grant or anybody wants to run Chicago Marathon and make a team with me, now that the goal is seventeen fifty per person, we've fundraised three hundred and twenty two dollars more than that. So say Jenna signs up for Chicago Marathon and me and her make a team, our fundraising money pools together. So now it's almost like Jenna doesn't have to raise seventeen fifty, she has to raise a little over thirteen hundred, not seventeen, because my extra three hundred goes towards the whole team, which goes towards her. But anyway, I got the link to actually register th for the Chicago Marathon. Oh, I just missed the end of their little dancing squad to the theme song The New Girl. Thank you. Check it out, check it out, check it out. You are applying and committing to fundraise the American Cancer Society. I'm already done with my minimum, but hey. Charity application. So the thing with ACS is with Chicago, that's different than my run Disney ones, is I'm doing a charity application and I still pay for the registration. So I still pay 205 plus processing fees. All right, there it is. Look at that. I'm going to make it official. Estimated finish time, 3.45 to 4. Ooh, I got this. I got it. It's not until October. I'm going to hope. Um, that would be crazy. Like, 3.30 would be even. would be, oh my gosh. And, you know, we got a lot of time and I got a lot of, lot of stubborn will behind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. Thank you. Thank you for completing the application. My friend Jessica, who is just one of our ACS contacts who is just here for Dopey Weekend. She's the main point of contact for Chicago Marathon. And she's already told me like, Peter, just get your application in because you're already, you already hit your minimum, but keep it going. Um, she's like, once, so she has to go in and approve it, but she's going to. Um, once she approves it, then I'll get the registration confirmation from the city of Chicago. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. I can't believe it. It's, it kind of just hit me that that's actually going to happen. Sarah! What? I'm doing the Chicago Marathon. It just hit me. Okay, we're at Disney Springs, and I have a feeling that nobody is here. Seriously? Because I just realized how bad news bears Disney Springs is going to be. I didn't realize that Ample Hills Creamery is going to be across the street from Beatrix, and Beatrix is going to be, all our money is going to be gone. gone. See? Zero building. 
there's zero building. And there kind of is people here because we're in a narrow walkway. But the parking lot was literally empty. It's the most empty I've ever seen in my entire life. What's this cute little Mickey Mouse guy doing? I haven't seen any of these shirts. We're not going on a normal route around Disney Springs tonight. We're going to redeem ourselves. Okay, this is bad news. This is a code red. Sarah and I had like a long discussion today about how she wanted to break being vegan for pizza. And now she's, I can't, con she's uncontrollable. She has to come I in here. I just eat pizza and be vegan totally. Else I don't think so. Hi. Oh. I don't think we can have almost anything in here. Look at it, it's all empty. This Disney Springs, is nobody's in here. Look at all that fresh pizza. I miss every so I'd, I'd eat one of each right now. Right now, I'd eat one of each, easy. Pizza Ponte, I'm wearing Enzo's. Who do you guys think you are with this cool merch? All right, we have to get out of here because I'm literally four seconds away from stopping our vegan diet. Honestly, I almost said it. This is what we're gonna try and redeem ourselves with. It doesn't look promising. Peter made a good point. Because nobody's she read my on the mind stage. Because I didn't even finish the thought. Because nobody's on the stage now, it seems to me like somebody is going to be on the stage soon. Like they're preparing the stage for the next act. So then we'll be able to be there for the whole act. Do I want a corned beef for St. Patrick's Day? That's what broke our vegetarianism last year. We were a vegetarian and then we had that. A musician has arrived. He's setting up his guitar or some kind of stringed instrument over there. And he's got a green shirt on because he just might be Irish. Just might. How's it going, folks? Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Will you direct your attention to the right? Yes, you are. I love P.S. I love you. And I ask you, friends, what's the fella to do when her hair is black and her eyes are blue? What's up? You see a travel around, but I'm over this world. But I ain't never seen nothing like a Galway girl. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh. Crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Yeah, that's one of them. So classic. You win the 25th anniversary castle on there. Another one, so awesome. We usually. <laughs> We usually don't go into Disney style. We've, but only, they, been, we've only been in here like three or four times. We got this. great shirts right now. That's crazy. So yeah, too. <laughs> That's awesome. And the power Disney line is Jesus. so All of underrated. The and the case. And the leggings. For my birthday. Yes. Mouse or size. Since the curries are on vacation mode, we're doing all the things that we don't typically do. Now we're heading to, uh, heading into, uh... Don't even tempt me. Robert did, but I, I forgot that they actually do normal bubbly, not just the cocktail. Yeah, you could just get like a fountain beverage. All right, we're at the Coke Lounge, Coke Bar, whatever you call this fancy thing. It's right there. Right there. That's my Beverly. I miss it. I haven't seen it in so long. I could cry. What is that? This is a new one they got in for the international flights, I think. It's a Russian Sprite with cucumber. It's really good and refreshing. So good. But this is what we're here it's to like enjoy. Full. How many ounces? I don't even know. It's just 32. Oh, and it's got the sticker so I need refills, but I don't know if it, uh, Beverly's in it. I'm gonna, just to freak out, I'm gonna chug it and ask for a refill of Beverly. Oh my god. This is the first time I'm having it since it's closed. <laughs> my mouth is salivating. <laughs> I feel at home. Thank you. <laughs> Robert got, Robert treated me my Beverly. Cinnamon to it. Oh. This is the prettiest drink. It's called a cranberry bite. Oh, 
What's in there? I don't know. It's it's international flag. No, no, no. This is traditional. Oh, traditional. Traditional. So it's a Jack and Coke and a Russian. Something you're on. I don't know what else I'm about all to drink. Sorts of things. There's what? Four, there's four ounces of, of liquor in the. Between all of that. Yes. Awesome. So it's equivalent to two drinks. So it's not a whole. So for Disney whole pricing. Lot, right? For Disney pricing, it's That's a really good deal. How much 20 was bucks. It? 20 bucks. Oh, nice. So five bucks each one. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's, bad. that's just and as much or more. Really? I'm almost done with it, <laughs> and I'm gonna go ask for a refund. <laughs> 12 seconds later. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a Beverly refill, but. The bartender almost didn't give it to me because apparently they're not supposed to do refills on the fountains. But because it's Beverly, I'm sure they're not running out of it anytime soon. So I got a refill. We're at AMC. We're, we're gonna at see AMC. a movie. We're gonna see a movie that we've already seen once, but we're getting popcorn first. We're seeing Little Women, yes. Left with Jordan and Robert. We had a great time, at We did. It was. A, I did not think we were gonna go to the Coke store, and that was a great experience. And I had way too much Beverly, and it's surging through my veins right now. And I just think I need to get some popcorn to soak them all up. Yeah. So we spoke up our popcorn with hot sauce and jalapenos. It's delicious. Voila. It's delicious. Wow. I didn't expect this tonight. How was it the second time? Even better. I can't wait till it comes out on streaming. We're gonna get it. I cried more that second time. You did cry more this time. But it's a great movie. I'm ready to see the third time already. Yeah, it is long. Tomorrow? It's, it's um, midnight. And I mean, of course, there were um, trailers, but we went in there at like 9 o'clock. Right. Such a good film. Go see yeah. it if you can. Yeah. Read the book, maybe. I wanna read the book. It's you, on our record. You player. read the book. You didn't? I thought you did. You started it. Friends. Grant may be signing up for the Chicago Marathon as well with ACS. And it would be incredible. So, I gotta still talk to Sarah's older sister. She, we talked about it for like a brief second, but there is a lot of time. But I was talking to Grant about it and he was like very adamant, like, he, he's all about it. I gotta t stop talking because of Taylor Swift. <laughs> We are home and today's message is, of this be sure, you do not find the happy life you make. Thomas Monson. Hi! Did you go outside with Peter? Here, I'll release you. Yeah. Here are two of my, my latest splits that I did. Trying to root these bad boys. Notice this is this is an old buy bottle, but it's glass, so I kept it. Genuinely. I did it already. You did this already? Yeah. Well, 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 she did it already. So I need you guys' help. I don't not considering Grant 100 percent until we actually reach out. I'm gonna reach out to ACS tomorrow and talk about logistics of switching the page over to a team because I think it's super easy. If they join through ACS, it'll be a team. So we need a team name to come up with, if this ends up happening. This could all be for naught. <laughs> but anyway. Start thinking with a team name. Yeah. Well, thanks for following along today. Go check out Little Woman, any of the variations of it. I have treats in my hand and eat. <laughs> Just, hold on, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Watch P.S. I Love You because that's what that song from Raglan Road was from. Yeah, that was great. And now I can head to Disney Springs. And now a good time hanging out the curries. Mm -hmm. Our next bit of voyagers arrive in just two days. Mm -hmm. When you're watching this, you can say tomorrow the Earhearts arrive. Crazy. They're packing and right the as we speak. And the Eve Coast. The Peaches is good here on Wednesday? No, Thursday. That's it. And the Eve Coast on Kishoto later, I think. Yeah, later. But still. An exciting time to be alive. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>